When we choose tools, we usually choose habits at the same time. Some tools slow us down, others quietly speed us up. Today, we put two laser measures under that lens, the Sigmund CD80 and the Mile C S50. One focuses on compact versatility, the other focuses on power and reach. We will talk about how they feel in the hand, how they read numbers, and how they behave across different tasks. By the end, you will know which one supports your workflow better. Let's get started. Starting with how these tools feel before we even take a measurement. The Sigmund CD80 feels compact and personal. When we pick it up, it feels like something made for close range tasks. The aluminum frame adds confidence. The ABS shell adds grip. It does not feel fragile. It also does not feel heavy. You can carry it in a pocket and forget about it. The Mile C S50 gives a different first impression. It feels more like a job site tool. The plastic shell feels thick and purposeful. The grip feels shaped for longer sessions. It still stays light enough, but the message is clear. This tool expects dust, drops, and outdoor light. So right away, the intent of each tool becomes visible through touch alone. Now let us talk about design choices. The CD80 tries to do more with less space. It combines a laser distance tool, a digital tape measure, and an angle sensor. That alone changes how you approach tasks. The screen shows reference points clearly. You always know if the measurement starts from the front or back. The electronic level bubble sits right on top. It gives instant visual feedback with color. Green means level. Orange means adjustment needed. That clarity matters during quick layout checks. Now, the S50, and it focuses more on information visibility. The 2.4 inch IPS display feels generous. You can switch between black and white backgrounds, which helps a lot when lighting changes. The screen rotates automatically, so no matter how you hold it, the data stays readable. It also supports four reference points, front, back, tripod, and side laser alignment. That side laser alignment is helpful when you need a straight visual reference line across a surface. Visibility and laser behavior. This is where the conversation shifts. The CD80 uses a red laser, which works very well indoors. In rooms, hallways, and shaded areas, it stays visible and precise. Once we step outside under strong sunlight, the visibility drops. That is expected, and it matches the tool's indoor-focused nature. The S50 uses a green beam laser, and the difference is obvious. Green light is easier for the human eye to catch. In bright outdoor conditions, the beam stays visible much longer. We tested it in daylight, and the beam stayed usable beyond 20 meters without effort. With a maximum range of up to 400 feet, it handles large spaces with ease. So if outdoor work matters to you, this difference alone becomes important. Now let us talk about speed, because speed affects rhythm. The CD80 responds quickly. You press the button, and the number appears almost instantly. In continuous measurement mode, the value updates smoothly as you move. This helps when spacing shelves or adjusting cabinet gaps, because you see the number settle as your hand settles. And S50 feels even faster. With up to 8 measurements per second, the display updates rapidly while staying stable. When you sweep across a surface or scan distances, it keeps up without lag. That speed feels tuned for professionals who measure often and move quickly. Accuracy is where trust is built. The CD80 claims an accuracy of plus or minus two millimeters, plus a distance factor. In our tests, it stayed consistent. At short distances, it matched a manual tape. At room length distances, it stayed repeatable. We did not see sudden jumps or drifting values. For drywall, cabinetry, and flooring prep, this level of accuracy works well. Meanwhile, S50 tightens the tolerance to plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. 
Over long distances, the reading stayed stable even after repeated shots. The power burst technology seems to help maintain accuracy across dusty air, reflective surfaces, and longer spans. For exterior walls and structural checks, this level of consistency matters. As for modes, CD80 covers core needs. You get length, area, volume, wall area, and Pythagorean modes. You also get angle measurement and altimetry. The angle sensor is surprisingly useful. When we placed it against a stair stringer, the degree reading moved smoothly. It did not jump. This helps before cutting trim or checking pitch. The small tape measure on the side covers up to five centimeters. This sounds minor. In tight corners, it saves time. You do not need to grab another tool for a tiny offset. This detail adds practical value. The CD80 supports six units. You can switch between metric and imperial easily. The interface stays simple. You do not feel lost in menus. The S50 supports eight unit formats. You can choose fine imperial increments or metric units. This helps when working with plans that demand specific formats. You avoid mental conversion. That reduces errors. Power choices affect workflow. The CD80 uses an internal lithium battery. It charges via USB-C. One charge supports thousands of measurements. In daily use, we never drained it in a full day. This setup feels modern and clean. You do not deal with disposable batteries. The S50 uses a dual power system. It runs on two AANIMH rechargeable batteries. It also supports USB-C charging. If batteries die, you can replace them quickly. This suits field work where charging may not be available. Runtime reaches about 24 hours under heavy use. That flexibility adds peace of mind. Durability matters when tools leave the bench. The CD80 feels solid. The aluminum frame protects it from minor bumps. It does not carry an official IP rating. We treat it as an indoor focused tool that can handle careful site use. The S50 carries an IP54 rating. It resists dust and water splashes. It also handles drops better. We tested standard drops around one meter. The tool kept working. It also performed well across temperature changes. This makes it suitable for outdoor and industrial environments. The CD80 stores measurements locally. It works as a standalone tool. For many users, this is enough. You measure, you act, and you move on. The S50 adds connectivity. It links with a mobile app. Measurements sync in real time. You can export data to files or images. This helps when you document work or share results with clients. It reduces note-taking and transcription errors. So how do these tools fit into daily work? The CD80 feels like a smart extension of a tape measure. It suits interior work, furniture layout, cabinetry, and DIY projects. It helps solar workers move faster without clutter. Its angle sensor and small tape detail add value in subtle ways. The S50 feels like a measurement hub. It suits professionals who work across large spaces. It handles outdoor light, long distances, and complex geometry. The green laser and point-to-point -point mode support tasks that basic lasers struggle with. Now the thing is, no tool is perfect, and here, CD80 struggles outdoors under bright sun. The red laser limits visibility. Its maximum range also stays lower. For large sites, it may feel constrained. The S50 costs more. It also feels more complex at first. If you only measure small rooms, many features may go unused. The size also feels slightly larger in a pocket. So which one should you get? If your work lives indoors, and you value compact design with smart extras, the Sigman CD80 makes sense. It replaces multiple small tools, 
and keeps your workflow clean. If your work spans indoors and outdoors, and you need visibility, range, and advanced measurement logic, the Milesia S50 fits better. It supports demanding conditions and complex tasks. In the end, the right choice depends on how you measure and where you measure. When the tool matches your habits, it disappears into the work. That is when a tool earns its place. That was all. Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more videos.